Hey, what's up? This is Pete, and welcome back to another episode of Underdog Garage. Today, we are getting into part three of the convertible top replacement series. We are replacing the soft top on our 2003 Mazda Miata. If you've been following along in the past couple videos, we have removed the convertible top frame and soft top from the car. We then removed the canvas fabric from the actual frame. And now in today's video, we're going to be installing the new soft top back onto the frame. We're going with a factory style canvas top from Robbins. We wanted something that really preserved the original look of the car, but also uh, had a nice fabric quality to it. So that's why we decided to go with the canvas. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into part three and reassemble our soft top and frame. First, we laid out all of the parts from the kit. We wanted to make sure we had everything to get this job completely done. We found the bow end caps to install on the center bow. With the bow end caps in, we then put on the rear webbing straps using the supplied 532nd rivets. A couple pumps of the rivet gun and these webbing straps were secured quickly. Next, we had to align the listings for the top. First, we had to find the listings and figure out where they were on the top fabric. Then we had to leave a 16th of an inch gap between the front edge of the second bow listing and the fourth bow listing. We then pressed the two listing Velcro joints together so that they were nice and secure. After that, we started positioning the soft top onto the frame to get it ready for tightening down. We aligned it in the middle as best as we could, and then we inserted the number two listing into the second bow retainer. While we were installing it, we were making sure that we were still maintaining our center alignment and everything was looking flush. Then we clamped the metal flange that secured the, bow, the listing to the bow retainer with our set of pliers. Once that was secure, we started positioning the top fabric to get it ready for riveting. We started by placing rivets on the front side of the B-pillar. Once the B-pillar was secure, we started getting the tension cable set up. We first had to rivet it to the front at the number one bow retainer. To make things easier, we decided to flip the soft top and the frame over to pull the cable through. And it was at that moment when it finally dawned on us. We realized that there was the set plate on the lower B-pillar retainer that had to be put in place before you riveted the top fabric to the B-pillar. We had to drill out the rivets we just installed and redo that part. We ended up having to use a smaller size rivet to save the remainders for the rest of the top. We used small copper washers to make up for the fact that we were using smaller rivets to keep everything secure. 
After that little bump in the road, we continued on with getting the tension cable in place. Using the pre-installed string, we secured it to the tension cable and pulled it through. It also helped to have the top frame almost completely open to allow for an open pathway in the soft top canvas. This helped the cable come through easier. Once the cable was out on the other side, we used some needle nose pliers to secure the cable spring to the frame. Using the pliers, we closed the cable spring and that was hooked to the cable eyelet so it couldn't come loose. Next, we riveted the canvas frame tab to the back side of the B pillar using the supplied rivets. After that, we began reinstalling the B-pillar gaskets and their retainers to the convertible top frame. Once the B-pillars were all set up, it was time to install the front quarter flaps of the soft top to the front retainer. First, we aligned the corner cut out with the leading edge of the retainer bow and marked its position. Then we applied a 3M adhesive along the side to secure the fabric and pressed it into place all while making sure that the hole in the fabric was lining up with the screw hole where the retainer would secure in. Then we just repeated that on the other side. Next, we applied more adhesive to the front edge of the retainer so that the front flap of the top could fold in and secure. The key here was to make sure the fabric sat flush into the inside corner and there was no bunching. After that, we installed the front retainer bracket to secure the remainder of the soft top to the front. The last thing to do was install the front convertible top gaskets and the top latches back to the frame. After that, we flipped the top over and set it up, admiring our handiwork and knowing we were just about ready to install it back on the Miata once we were back from painting. All right, sweet. So our convertible top is now back on the frame. Everything is really looking great. I'm really happy that we went with the canvas fabric. Um, I feel like it's a really nice quality and nice look. I can't wait to get it back on the car. There were a few tricky areas that I felt were kind of challenging with this. Um, first off was getting the tension cables installed. So it helped that you had the pre-installed strings to kind of pull the tension cable through but I found getting it hooked to the spring down on the B pillar was a little tricky. Um, and it helped to have the whole entire frame off the car, but it is kind of a tight space and just tough to work with the pliers in there. The second was um, getting the listings in, installed into the number two bow retainer. When you pushed the listing into the like uh, retainer that you eventually closed with the pliers, it had a tendency to move kind of left and right as you press the fabric into the retainer. So we kind of had to just watch that as we were going along and make sure it wasn't shifting left or right. The last area, which you guys saw our blunder, was uh, missing that set plate under the B pillar. You saw we 
put in the rivets and then we realized that we didn't have enough slack in the fabric to get the retainer, the set plate for the B pillar installed. So we had to undo our rivets and then install the set plate. So it wasn't uh, too much extra work, but it was just kind of a little bit of a pain, but you know, it is what it is. Overall, I felt like it was pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too surprising, nothing too crazy. And uh, overall, I think the top came out great. So uh, we'll see how We'll see how it goes uh, going down the road. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you've got it. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes on this project and other projects we've got going on at Underdog Garage. So thanks again so much for watching. Have fun, and we will see you next time.